Got my personal favorite. Here come the Irish on Peacock. It is a Hard Knocks-esque look at Notre Dame's college football program. Notre Dame, my favorite college football program, <laughs> so much better than that USC oh, 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 oh. where Matt Leiner went, <laughs> you know, host of some podcast. Uh, yeah, well, it's uh, podcast is entitled None Other Than Throwbacks. It stars him and, oh, one of the other big stars, this guy right here, Jerry Ferreira, of course, joining us right here on the Live Zone. What's up, dude? Good to see you. Good to see you. Hey, I appreciate the shots at Liner. I love it. Keep <laughs> it coming. I am not Keep over, it coming. I am not over the bush push from like 2005. <laughs> it's funny. We talked about that. We did a mock show last week. We talked about uh, the bush push. Yeah, and we're going to talk about that a lot. Sorry. You might want to fast forward those parts. <laughs> it's all right. It's all right. I've had almost 20 years to get over it but yeah <laughs> speaking of 20 years it's been 20 years since matt won the heisman 20 years you know i what i'm about to say i just had to like do a double take since entourage hit the screen on hbo now both of you all are coming together in a major way to make something even more epic and that being the upcoming podcast throwbacks what can we expect man yeah, you know, that's something we both realized, too. You know, we're becoming friends now on the show, which is kind of cool because it is hard to make friends as you get a little bit older. So you're watching us in kind of real time build this friendship. But, yeah, 20 years ago, he was in L.A. He's winning Heisman Awards, which is way cooler than uh, what I was doing. But I was in L.A., you know, starring on Entourage. We could have easily been friends back then. And, uh, yeah, so now we are we call it throwbacks because, yeah, we're kind of – throwing it back to then but also you know matt does a lot of great stuff with you know his fox college football show you know big noon kickoff and i'm just a sports fanatic so you have two very different point of views come believe me i'm not the x's and o's guy so don't worry about that (laughs) but but I, i do watch everything i'm a super fan okay well i have to ask since you brought up both of those two things matt being out in la same time you're out there in la and the show entourage you guys had some huge athletes on that show tom brady rob gronkowski a rod lebron james all of them who is your favorite look it it's easy to say tom brady because he was awesome on the show and that is an episode that a lot of people remember it's a very memorable one uh look i'm a big golf guy i loved having phil mickelson on. Wow. i really enjoyed his episode <laughs> i thought he was pretty funny uh and another sneaky cameo not too many people caught. Uh, Michael Phelps has like a if you blink, you miss it cameo. It was right after he got back from the Olympics with like 800 gold medals. And we saw he was in town like doing an interview. We literally ran into him on the street and said, hey, do you want to be on the show? And he's like, yeah. So if he like bumps into the E character, if you blink, you miss it. But uh, we've had I, for whatever reason, Entourage really resonated with athletes. Wow. So that is something we're going to dive into as well on throwbacks with yeah. that. Hey, by the way, congratulations. You are a dad of two. And with that being said, I, I would assume that when it comes to the world of acting, well, I, I hate to say it, but I don't think they're ever going to catch up to you. They might not ever <laughs> beat you. But sports, sports is a different thing. Right now, uh, the kids any better than you are at any particular sport? And uh, are you taking it easy or are you crying? Look, mine is pretty young. Mine are five and three, but that's another interesting thing too. Matt, I believe, as a five and three, as well as an eighteen-year-old. Uh, no, my kids, no, they are not there yet. But I actually think Matt's five and three-year-old could beat me because they have, <laughs> they might already be taller than me. That's very possible. I, I know the show is already in good shape because on social media, I'm already getting short jokes, which historically tells me people are gonna listen. I don't know. It worked on Entourage. It worked on Power. And I think it's going to work for us with throwbacks. Listen, I got to ask. You grew up in Brooklyn. I know you're a New York guy. Were there any specific teams that you rooted for more than... I know you said you watch everything. Yeah. But are you still have those teams you're a diehard fan of and you root for more than others? Diehard fan. You know, I'm a Yankees fan, Giants fan, Ranger fan. And then the team that is probably I'm most wild about is the New York Knicks. Uh, They were good in the 90s when I was a kid. The 2000s have been rough, to say the least. But now... Now they've got those Villanova guys. They've got all that Villanova. (laughs) I'm from Philadelphia, so... You know, I'm going to forget 2009, that World (laughs) Series against the Yankees as well. But the Knicks have all that star power from Villanova. So, you know, I, I guess I I'm, so, I'm glad that we don't have to play the six. I hope we don't have to ever play the Sixers in a playoff series again, because <laughs> that, that 
you guys were very mean to me on social media, you Philly fans. <laughs> I'm still getting over that one, too. Listen, I'm used to Harpley, clearly. Having come from Philadelphia and rooting for Notre Dame. And, yeah. But listen, this looks like a great podcast, and I'm really excited about it. Once again, it. set to debut September 5th, all being brought to you by Sinclair. This is uh, it's their new podcast division, I should add, as well. Uh, of course, this guy right here, star extraordinaire Jerry Ferreira, uh, along with Matt Leiner. Before we let you go, I, I saw an interview recently where you were talking about you grew up, obviously, in New York, and you didn't do a lot of driving. And well, when I think back to one of my favorite shows of all time, Entourage, I always saw you in the Escalade, dude, and you were always <laughs> driving. <laughs> so have you improved your driving since then, or do we need to look out for you on the road? No, I have improved, and I had to improve because uh, like, I was an okay driver growing up in Brooklyn. I, like I said, didn't really drive a lot, didn't really have to. And then, you know, I get cast in Entourage, and it's like, oh, yeah, today you're going to be driving the brand-new Cadillac Escalade. I'm like, that's great. I've never driven anything that, you know, would, went faster than, like, 32 miles an hour, so let's try this. <laughs> and then as the show went on, I mean, we drove some pretty crazy cars, obviously, on the show. So, uh, like, I'm the guy, like, I don't know how to drive stick. Like, that's me. I, I just don't – I'm not bad, though. You don't have to look out for me on the road. Don't worry. We're okay. <laughs> Jerry, can I ask you one more question that – Name of the sure. podcast is Throwback. So, do you have a favorite sports memory that stands out in your mind from your whole life? Oh, I I do. Uh, it's easy to look. Obviously, the Giants Super Bowl win, the first one over the Patriots with the helmet catch, the helmet catch. is is a big one. But I'm gonna throw it back, for lack of a better word, even further. That first Yankees '90s World Series, the 1996 World Series, which uh, Yankees hadn't won one in a lot in a while up until that point. That was like my formative years of watching. You know, Jeter was a rookie. That that to me was one. I remember being with my friends. Like we were like saying prayers outside of churches, because <laughs> we were down 2-0 versus the Braves. You know, and now all of a sudden we all wanted to get religious and start praying for the Yankees to win. So uh, that that's the one that stands out to me right away. Okay. Well, we at least have one thing in common then. We can both enjoy the fact that our teams beat Tom Brady in a <laughs> Super you Bowl. Go. Because, again, Eagles fan, 2018-19, Nick yeah. Foles days. I'll enjoy have... Saquon Barkley. Enjoy Saquon <laughs> Barkley. He's, a, he's, a, he's, he's the best. <laughs> Jerry Ferrara saying play prayers outside of the church. We're saying thank you, Lord, for you, sir, coming <laughs> on the show. It's uh, Throwbacks, the podcast, debut September 5th. Of course, all being brought to you by Sinclair. Truly appreciate your time, dude. Thanks so much. Talk soon. How cool is that? Awesome. Awesome. You know, it's, know. it's just so weird when you, you know, you watch the show, you, you idolize somebody. Yeah, I said it, idolize. That, right. that dude is awesome. And then to have him come on your show and uh, tell you about the brand new podcast he has, I think that's really we cool. we got a pretty good entourage going here, too, I think so, well. too. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> we'll take a quick break and be right back.